Hello, everybody. Now I'm going to teach you how to find the end behavior given exponential graphs. All right, basically what I'm going to be doing is looking to see, based on the graph, what my x values are doing in relation to what the y values are doing. All right, look at this first example on the left side, this graph on the left side. If you notice, my x values on this side are going to always go to negative infinity. So, as my x values are approaching negative infinity, I'm going to look to see what my y values are doing. Well, I'm always going to see, is it going up or is it going down? Is the arrow going up or down? Well, if you notice, it's getting really close to that asymptote. So, my y is going to keep approaching the asymptote, which is at negative 3. All right, now let's see what the x values are doing in relation to the y's y value, excuse me, on the right side. My x values are getting closer and closer to positive infinity. So as x approaches positive infinity, let's see what the y values are doing. Does it go up or down? Well, look here. It's actually going up. So that means it's going up to positive infinity. All right, let's try this next example. Again, my x values are approaching negative infinity. So, as my x values are approaching negative infinity, let's see if my y values are going up or down. In this case, it's facing down, so that means it's going down to negative infinity. All right, looking at the right side. My x values are going to be approaching positive infinity. So, as my x values are approaching positive infinity, my y values, let's see if they're going up or down. In this case, it's getting really close to the asymptote. So therefore, it's approaching positive. 